Hi everyone and welcome back to our 40th anniversary planning part 2. I don't know how much time that I'll have this week because there's six more sleeps till we renew our vows but I wanted to show you what other things I've done in the planning. So one of them was I made this banner. I remember I was showing you that butterflies that was in that plastic bag. Well I took the other one out and one is a dragonfly. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to put the link in the down bar below of Yoli Bean here on YouTube who did this banner. She made a family banner very similar to this. Mine's not exactly the same. Her letters, she had a circle with the letters come out, cut out so it's like the reverse. But it's almost identical. So and the um, it'll have the Cricut program that um, she used. So I just followed that. And I love how it turned out. I got this trim from Michael's for $1.50. So I added it to the banner. Used my scallop circle die from Stampin' Up! for the scallop. Just different coordinated green paper. And then I used um, my crocodile to make the metal eyelets. And then I used the green organza ribbon through it. So it says congratulations and the last one I just made a little heart and put the butterfly on it. So we're going to hang that outside. This was fun to make. I put the word congratulations instead of happy anniversary or Monica and Richard because I thought we could use this banner again for maybe a baby shower or some other celebration. So now I'll head over to the table and show you the rest of the stuff. So I purchased all of my food. In the last video, I showed you guys that I was going to have a candy table. And to that table, we're going to have popcorn as well. So there will be cupcakes, popcorn, and candy. And so we're going to pre-make the popcorn. So I went back to Creative Packaging and bought these cellophane bags. And they're for $5.99. I got 100 bags, so that's pretty good. And then I got this ribbon to match that green organza ribbon. And so we'll just tie it with twist ties and a quick little knot of ribbon on top. I'm not going to put butter on the popcorn. So I'm going to season it with, this is kind of like that kettle corn stuff. I don't like kettle corn, but most people do. So we'll season it with this and then we'll be able to make it a couple of days ahead of time. And I, I just worried if I added butter right to the popcorn, I didn't know how long it would keep. So we haven't bought our beverages yet, well at least not all of them, other than our water, but we are going to have those spigot things and one of them is going to have mix for mojitos, one just going to have a lemonade with lime slices to keep it the green, and then I bought some water bottles, so last night my husband and I covered them with duct tape. We took the paper labels off and just put duct tape on because I'm nuts and I want everything to match. So we didn't have, couldn't find any green with any polka dots or design, so I thought I combined this duct tape with that one, and we did 48 bottles, and they look quite nice all done up all together. It kind of goes with the color theme. And so the next stage, well, there's a couple other things with the food, but uh, because I'm talking about desserts, oh, I saw this on Pinterest. Love, love, love it. So we're creating a s'more station. So there'll be the desserts and then uh, the um, this will be like another station a little bit later on in the evening. So instead of lighting our bonfire for s'mores, it might be lit anyway, we got some sterno pots. They call them, it was hard to find them, Magic Flame now. And I'm going to also put duct tape around these just to make in keeping with the, the decorating. So all you do is you pop the lid there and you light it and it gives a little flame like anybody that used to fondue probably knows about sterno pot. So there's a the flame there, just a small one. And then you take bamboo skewers and you have them set on your table. And we bought these s'more kits from Superstore mainly because the little graham crackers are little mini ones. Look at them. And so you have those neatly on a table. They have beautiful unmarked chocolate bars that you break into pieces. And the marshmallows. So we're going to have a little s'mores station set up. So that I think will be a lot of fun. So um, we are, our food, our main food is going to be 
keeping in the trendy new mini foods, we're having barbecued chicken sliders, like in a burger, and we're also having beef sliders, little burgers. We're going to have assortment of cheeses, coleslaw, and um, Caesar salad, and then we're going to have little shot glasses like these, filled with Asiago dip and about six french fries, like individual servings, so you just grab your fries and dip and it's ready to go, and our veggies will also be in these mini cups. So it will be the veggies and the dip already cut up, already ready. You don't have to double dip. you got your own dip. And also, I'm making cold gazpacho soup shots. So we'll have that. So that's why this week will be kind of busy, busy, busy. But that's it for the food. So I'm totally done. So um, oftentimes when we're having a, a function in our backyard, like we've done our children's um, wedding rehearsal dinners, I've done Mother Blessings back there, and things like Mother Blessings, it's really imperative that um, there's no noises around, like lawnmowers and rototillers and things like that. So I always send a little note to the neighbors asking them if they would mind not cutting their lawns, and, and then we give them a little gift. So this time, I used the stamp set that thanks a latte. And I totally copied Nastasia's card. I scrap lifted it, the exact same one. And inside, I took, I wrote a little note here on the side, and it just basically explains that once again, we'd like to ask a huge favor of you. We're celebrating. There's actually two events this summer in our backyard, and we wondered if you'd refrain from using your lawnmowers, and we just told the date. And we realize this is an inconvenience for you, so we hope this small token will compensate for your kind consideration. Thanking you in advance, the Lipscombs. Then I took the Tim Holtz uh, border uh, die with the houses, like neighbors, and I cut it out in black first, and I cut it out again in colored cardstock and chose three houses. And it says, thank you kindly. And I put a coffee card from Tim Hortons in here for all five of the neighbors that um, are on either side of us, to the right and the left, and then this one directly behind and to the right and left of them. So that's five. So we're going to deliver those on Monday. So I've got five of those done. And then the most exciting thing of all, uh, my husband asked me what I wanted for anniversary, and I said I've always wanted a family ring. But I didn't want one of those kind of dorky family rings. I hate to call them dorky, but it just wasn't my style. I wanted one that really had a lot of meaning. So I looked meaning. So I looked on Etsy and I found this woman, her name is Dewana Young, and her site is called a piece of indigo. Pieces of indigo. So this is how it's sent to you. So I ordered my ring some time ago and I love, love, love it. So this is the packaging that it came in. And her name is, yeah, it's Pieces of Indigo, Dewana Young. And it says, crafted with intent, infused with love, made to last. So she special ordered. So here is my ring. I'll put it on so you can see. Hang on. I'll do a closer up look. So I was lucky that I have ruby garnet diamond for my kids birthstones so she separated the ruby it should be ruby garnet diamond but she put the diamond in the middle and then I lost a set of twins and she put two blue sapphires on either side to represent the twins I love this ring you can't even imagine how much it's all handcrafted in recycled silver, and I don't know if you can see the etching. And then on the inside, she's got my most favorite Latin quote ever, and it's Dum Spiro Spero, and it means, while I breathe, I hope. I just love this ring. It's like love, 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 love. I can't even tell you how much. If you're looking for a unique piece of jewelry or a special piece of jewelry, you need to check her out. And then my husband's uh, just getting a new 
uh, band that matches that one, just a silver band. We didn't have it made by her, but it's just a wide band. And mainly because his band has actually worn through. Forty years has worn through his wedding band. So there's one more thing I want to show you guys. So I'm outside, and I just want to show you what my husband made. Look at this fountain. Isn't this beautiful? The umbrella's in the way. Can you see it? So this is going to be one of our food tables. Isn't it gorgeous? He got this fountain from a flea market. It's solid steel metal, cast iron I guess, for $10. And then we went to a garden shop and they had the fountains like this on these really recycled wood tables. The table was 600 the fountain was 600 Yeah, we, we, he made this table with leftover wood for my daughter's deck that also made this table. So this entire thing cost us $10. Then on the other side, we've got some pretty vines hanging. So the art's coming along nice, and it'll be all groomed up for the party. So the next video will be of our anniversary. So thanks for watching and coming along with us on this fun journey. We'll see you next time. Bye!